Hello YouTube, this is Modern Day Survivalist here and this is my first ever YouTube video. When I first started watching YouTube videos, uh, I really started getting into a lot of EDC videos or everyday carry videos, mostly because I was new to this about six to eight months ago and uh, I really didn't know what kind of gear to buy. Uh, so I watch a lot of EDC videos basically to get some ideas of what kind of things that I would like to carry. Uh, this bag here is actually the Maxpedition Tactical Attaché and this is a bag that I carry with me every day of my life pretty much whether I'm on vacation, going to the office, uh, traveling for my job or else uh, I also keep it at my bedside. Uh, so I'll go over the contents of it real quickly here. Uh, basically I keep a keychain on the outside here that has my car keys in it. Uh, one benefit of doing this or one helpful tip tip I like to give people is I do keep my keys on the outside here uh, serves a couple of purposes so if I'm carrying the, my bag and I'm walking to my car for example I have a car alarm on my car uh, so in the event that someone were to try to attack me or anything like that uh, creating a noise distraction uh, can sometimes uh, provide benefit to you for saving your life. Uh, I also when I keep it at my bedside having the car alarm uh, I have a two level house and uh, my car is underneath our bedroom so uh, if there were a home invasion situation I could hit that car alarm and also create another noise diversion. I also keep a little energizer uh, light on here that has three different settings high, low, and strobe that blinks SOS. The package on this bay on this light actually said it uh, can be reflective up to a mile uh, but it's a nice little light that I keep on my keychain just to uh, brighten up dark areas. I also keep another carabiner here that have my work keys on it so when I get to work I put uh, these keys back on the ring here and I lock my bag into a storage locker. In this pocket here I keep some Advil, some sound isolation headphones. I also have some 5 hour energy drinks uh, in this pocket here. So you can see these pockets are very nice, uh, can fit a lot of things in here. In this little pouch here, I have my cool little Velcro, Velcro patch here for my Major League Sniper. Uh, I love playing video games with sniping capabilities and I also like to uh, play with some tactical weapons that you'll see in future videos that involve sniping or sniper rifles. I also keep a Max Edition wallet here. I'm not sure. I can't think. Can't remember what the name of this particular model is, but very good wallet. Holds quite a bit. A little bit too big for my purposes. I might downsize at some point, but for now, I paid for it, so I'm gonna start carrying it. I also keep a Gander Mountain 120 lumen flashlight. Has a couple of different uh, modes blue light, green light, red light, red blinking light that blinks SOS and then it also goes back to the white setting high, low and, it, and strobe. Very cool flashlight for $49. Uh, someday I hope to have a sure light or anything like something like that but or surefire or whatever they're called but for now this serves its purpose. I also keep a Spartaco Endura 4. Love this pocket knife. Look for future videos with reviews of this stuff. I also have a Smith & Wesson. Uh, the re main reason I bought this is this is a, called a first responder knife so it has a uh, little razor blade type thing here that can be used for cutting seat belts or else wires. Uh, it also has a center punch for breaking glass. Uh, normally I would put one of these in my pocket when I'm uh, walking around. I don't always carry them. I just put them in this bag at night and stuff like that. And then when I wake up in the morning I usually put one of these in my pocket. But great knife. Extreme Ops from Smith & Wesson. Uh, $15 knife. Not bad. I also carry the Leatherman Wave multi-tool. Use this every, every day for my job. I'm a computer tech have to cut a lot of wires, use a lot of screwdrivers. I 
In this pocket here, I keep a HTC Thunderbolt. Love this phone. Um, looks for some future videos from me on network security and computer security. I'll show you all sorts of cool things that you can do technology-wise. Uh, whether you, whether it be, uh, for example, at my, at my home and office, I have uh, security cameras that I can watch on this phone. Uh, the, the other advantage of this phone is I have a 4G hotspot on here, so I can connect my computer, my iPad, or whatever I need to use. I can have network capabilities wherever I go. Love this phone. This pocket here, I keep some Kleenex. I also have a Maxpedition. EDC or uh, pocket organizer basically that I keep all sorts of items between a fingernail, clipper, a lighter, pens, paper, I have a whistle, another a uh, Gerber shortcut multi-tool. I keep uh, USB drives on here. I have another pocket knife. I have a uh, emergency whistle. Some paracord in here. I also have some twist ties. And I also keep a little uh, mini pry bar that has paracord wrapped around it also. In this pocket over here, I actually carry a uh, digital camera that has HD re recording capabilities. I keep a digital voice recorder, basically for keeping audio memos and if I need to record uh, a, any sort of conversation or anything like that. On this side I have just a regular water, bo water bottle. Going towards the back here. This bag can hold a lot of stuff as you can see here. But I keep all sorts of things between a uh, travel medic first aid kit that has band-aids and burn kit stuff and safety pins and some gauze, all sorts of stuff in here, aspirin. I also keep a external hard drive that has all my personal data on it. It's in totally encrypted. Uh, look for some future videos where I'll talk about some software encryption tools that you can use to protect your private data. Going back to the front of the bag here. Uh, I'm a computer user daily, so I do keep the Apple MacBook Pro. This is a 15 inch model, so you can see, I think even with this tap glass attache, you could probably fit a 17 inch laptop in here. Uh, they do make an XL version of this bag, which uh, is more designed for a 17 inch, but my 15 inch MacBook Pro really uh, has lots of room on the sides, uh, so if it were a little bit bigger, I don't think I'd have any problem fitting this computer in there. I also keep an Apple iPad. This is the original iPad. Uh, one thing I'm going to cover on, in future videos is there's all sorts of cool things on here. Uh, I've been watching tons of videos on survival books and what kind of books you should use for prepping and stuff like that. And the nice thing about having an iPad is that I can carry all those books on here. I have the SAS. Uh, survival manual. I have uh, all sorts of different books and apps on here that are built around surviving and built around prepping that I can at any time pull out and have access to whether I'm waiting for the doctor, whether I'm at the bus stop or whatever. I'm able to uh, have all sorts of cool books at my fingertips. I also keep a uh, set of Bose headphones in here. I work in a noisy office environment sometimes and uh, it's just real nice to be able to whip out my iPod and uh, have some quiet time with my music. And for those who are familiar with the Maxpedition Tactical Attaché, there is a concealed carry bag. I am a con concealed carry permit holder in my state and uh, I do carry a weapon on a daily basis. Uh, this is just one of my weapons I prefer to carry, but this is that the uh, Springfield Armory, or I'm sorry, Springfield Armory XD9 subcompact, and this has the uh, 
magazine extension, which uh, I have fairly large hands, so I like to uh, be able to put my pinky down at the bottom and just do a safety check. This weapon is loaded at the time, uh, so I will unload it. Just to let you everyone know, all those safety nuts know that it is unloaded. So this is the XD9. Absolutely love this gun. Uh, inside this, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but inside this bag I do have the uh, universal holster. And I also have the universal magazine pouch where I carry uh, two extra rounds of magazines. Both of these magazines hold ten rounds each. And with my extended magazine, I can hold 16 rounds plus one in the chamber. So thank you for watching my first video. Uh, look for some future videos reviewing some of these products and some of the other things I get into. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to all the tactical community and all the prepping community on YouTube. Uh, you really inspired me to get serious about prepping and preparing my family for any sort of emergency we may face. But uh, this is my EDC video. If you guys have any comments or suggestions or thoughts, please leave those in the comment section. Thank you and have a good day.